Do you love a home cooked meal but don't like the hassle of firing up the stove, waiting for something to cook, and washing a bunch of dishes? Our next guest has a diet that could eliminate most of that and, more importantly, make you healthy. Please welcome the green goddess. Look at her. She is the green goddess. Christina, <laughs> Christina Carrillo Bukram from Rawfully Organic. Also with us is Gregory Bacon, who says he couldn't imagine a meal without meat. With the last name Bacon, I could imagine. That's right. <laughs> All right, so you're a big meat lover. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you um, became a raw uh, vegan eater because you had some serious health issues. That's right. Um, I had something known as hyperglycemia, mm -hmm. which can be the onset of type 2 diabetes. Um, most people know this as like chronic fatigue, nausea, not feeling well. So many people in our society don't know how poorly they feel until they start eating well and feeling better. Yeah, they don't know how poorly they feel, and oftentimes they're given medicines to address the symptoms, but Absolutely. the problem still remains. And so I like to emphasize this with food because eating fresh food makes us feel alive. You know, eating fresh food helps us to feel invigorated. And yeah. there's so many sicknesses and diseases out there. You know, anything from heart disease to people who just want to feel good. And I think one of the one of the prime reasons why people want to eat raw is for weight loss and for longevity and for vitality. Yeah, when we say food is thy medicine, Let we mean that. Let food be thy yeah. medicine for thy body, absolutely. Yeah. Pick it, don't unpack it out of a package. Absolutely, absolutely. And so what I've done here today is I am trying to prove to Mr. Bacon over here yeah. <laughs> that raw vegan food can be just as good and just as tasty and it doesn't have to have processed ingredients and you know what? It doesn't even have to be cooked. You don't have to clean your kitchen at all, people. Yeah, that's Nothing. a good point. But, you know, okay, when you say raw, I think we get what raw means. A lot of us don't understand what vegan means. Absolutely. Well, raw means that it's uncooked, unprocessed, below 110, 112 degrees. Mm -hmm. Unprocessed means that it has no chemicals, no preservatives, and I've actually used all, or, all organic ingredients. Yeah, so that's the vegan part of that. Yes, from um, a local organic cooperative here in Houston called Rawfully Organic that I run. Okay. And I want to just say that I know Mr. Bacon is going to love these recipes because I have a YouTube channel where I post all my recipes for free uh -huh. called Fully Raw Christina, and within one week of me posting this lasagna recipe, it had over 6,000 hits. Really? Okay, because yes. I'm a and state I know girl. That, I'm a state girl. I'm just telling you, people are going to love this recipe. It's so good. And then that pie over there is just screaming, eat me. Okay. Are you ready, Mr. Bacon? <laughs> Man. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just, you know, take a little piece here, and Christina, tell us what's in this. Yes, you may have to take a bigger bite out of that. You know, I always okay. tell people raw food is right. every fat man's favorite diet Wait, because you I'm have to eat more. A, taking away the French fries and burger. Oh. It's going away. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, it makes you sick, huh? He's just, you know, taking it away. I take a big bite. No, no lettuce on the side. I want you to take a big chunk right out the middle. Oh, that's not a big bite. Yeah. Come all on. in here. Yeah, all, take a big, like, yeah. side plate it. Go I just to want town. you to take a big bite out of that. Act like that's a big juicy yeah. burger. Oh, that's a... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, seriously, seriously, what do you think about that? Seriously, seriously. I will tell you. I mean, for me, it's not a slab of bacon, well, but not. it does taste like I'm getting uh, my dose of vitamins. Well, you know what I tell Imagine people it. is that after a while, you get used to either eating fresher foods, right, and your right. body starts to crave it because. Well, eating better things. You know, you're, you're, people who sometimes who've worked out and changed their diet Absolutely. have said that that when they started working out and eat, trying to drink a lot of water and stuff, their body demands this and Absolutely. starts rejecting the stuff like the glazed donuts. You know? Absolutely, it will start to taste better. It will start to you know mm -hmm. look different to you. And you know what? It's green food. Right now, green is just the buzzword. Everybody right. wants to be healthy. They just don't know how. Right. And we call it nutrient-dense food. And that is... It is nutrient-dense food. It's food to give you life. And, you know, I post all the recipes on my website so that if they go to Great Day Houston, they can go and they can find them there and they can get ideas for just how to improve their daily life. Did you take a second bite? Mm -hmm. He's still eating. Look at that. He's still eating. <laughs> all right. We got to wrap up right now, but yep. thanks for introducing us to this. And just one last thing: if somebody is trying to get started doing this, do you suggest they do all or nothing, or just maybe flip it, maybe meat or things like that, maybe a couple times a week cooked meals, and then just kind of ease yourself into it? You know it? what? I coach people for this on living, and what I tell people to do is just take out one meal a day and replace it with all fruit. Ah. And then you'll because start everybody loves forward. fruit. It's sweet, it's ripe, it's juicy, it gets all over you, and it's messy, and everybody loves fruit. Speaking like, of fruit, I'm going to take a bite of this. That's an all-fruit ice cream pie. Let's see. Okay. What do you think Let's about see. it? Gooey.
Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I can work with that. <laughs> if you're interested in switching to a low-fat, raw vegan diet, we've posted links to Christina's information on GreatDayHouston.com. And you're just going to keep eating that pie. Eh? <laughs> One of these four Houston women may have a recipe worth a million dollars. We'll find out how and taste their creative dishes when we come back. Yeah.